Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I watched the documentary. Yeah. I'm really excited that I might get the chance to talk to somebody. I... I just could... want to talk woman to girl. Growing up in the world, there were painstaking measures you took to fall into this cookie cutter silhouette that has some really screwed up values. Yes, that's what I want, to be something that I'm not. I was engaged to a, a dude and- I got really angry when that guy on the red carpet, Chris okay. Harrison, this is no offense to him, it could have been anybody. It's not uh -huh. personal, but when he says, yeah. what do you know about heartbreak? Which isn't the worst heartbreak. question that's been asked. Totally, totally. I, I, I wanted I've... to rip his face off. Why does mm -hmm. he have the right? to say that. You know, I think that the reason why we get angry, we also feel like the people pleasers who have to answer yes. all their questions. Yeah, definitely. When entitled, quippy questions come out, I wish I had had the ability to say, don't pee on me. What? <laughs> um, so I have grown up with a camera in my face and I don't well. think I know a life without a camera. There's no manual on how to raise a child star. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> I'm paying the rent around here. Yeah, so you're the one paying the rent? I'm living with one of my best friends and- uh, uh, So fun. Yes. I moved out on my own when I was 14, so I banked a lot of years. It's like you grow up, you're hanging out with other kids sometimes and working with them, but you're not an adult. Look, your opinion about me doesn't matter to me. Great. I'm doing what I need to do for myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I cut my hair. If you don't like it, fine. But if you're gonna work me like an adult, I get to party like one. Now I'm doing something that is working for me. I'm putting myself first in front of my best, best friends. Okay, let's just start earlier. Totally, I, I, I... I always <laughs> wanted to be the person who had a martini at the dinner party, but I'm the girl who probably just drinks too many martinis at the dinner party. Yes. <laughs> Go and have a drink. <laughs> You've been doing rock star all day. You wanna do some normal <laughs> yes! I want to have fun. That's what I want. How do you feel now that you have put that out there? So I, I actually feel I like... I don't understand why the press feels like they have the right to ask you anything. Answer the question. All right, I'm putting my foot down. I don't have to answer these. And you're intruding a little bit too much on the personal stuff. <laughs> I think that's so interesting, the way you're speaking. I know it seems like I've talked a lot. Uh, I, I just- I would actually <laughs> ask you if you wanted to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Wow, well, I'd say yes in a heartbeat. I did start to hide things from people, and I noticed you were really good at hiding things from people. Yeah. Screw it. God forbid I get cut out of your orbit. I'm so sick of trying to pretend I do. It actually was killing me. So in order to save myself, I'm gonna tell you the truth. You nailed it. That, like, if <laughs> that's the perfect, like, sound bite. Thank God I have some friends. Thank you. Who are extremely tough love oriented people. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. That means a lot. Mm. Mm. And they were good karmatic compensation for all the Hollywood people. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Who did not put you in your place? Thank you for having me. Please welcome Paris Hilton. Hi. Hi, babe. I've known you for many years. Have you talked to anyone who's been through what you've been through? Yes, I've been speaking to a lot of the survivors. When it comes to an interviewer, maybe they haven't had the same experiences than you. Do you find that? Yes. Well, not this time. <laughs> I've been locked up in solitary confinement. I've been in a place for lengthy periods of time. We're talking year, year and a half plus. I don't know how many interviews I'm gonna have on this show <laughs> where I'm watching a mirror image of everything I've been through as well. It's so important that you tell your story. I mean, 
I have to tell you, I didn't like being thrown in solitary confinement. I will say that I was very rebellious. I started riots there all the time. <laughs> and there was a lot of other kids like me. And that place really did help me. And it did save my life. And I actually wouldn't change a thing. Very unhealthy. Do you think that you're addicted? Yes. Have was... you seen the show, I May Destroy You? No. There's this scene in it um, where she's looking for validation and love through social media. And it's one mm. of the most visually compelling moments I've seen as a portrayal of what looking for love in social media does. It's a 50-50 seesaw. We love you, you're a jerk. Go girl, like you're a piece of crap. I agree with that. What is your next chapter? I'm excited for my relationship with my boyfriend. What's that number one question everybody's been asking you? Mostly just asking me what I learned from this film. I just went straight into, oh my God, I've been there too. Yeah, you definitely had the most fun and intimate interview so far. Hey. <laughs> no one else gets it. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Paris. I believe that you can do anything you set your mind to. Thank you. thank you so much. I've been waiting for this to start so I could personally thank you for... You, oh, well, that's a little bit too much. Come on. Actually, it's not because you made it viable for us all to do so because you're such a success. So you I mean, really you are the original. To, like watch people like at the airport or walking down the street. I mean, we love street style. I was dating a guy at the time and I would look at everybody and how they dressed their very best to be at his concert. And like, what was their outfit? Um, I was the person to run from because every guy would be listening to their publicist who would be like, stay away, stay away. You'll never be a respected actor. You'll never be a respected musician if you're dating her. At least that was the excuses I heard. Kind of random flow that I just gave you. I hope it's not okay. I hope it's okay it to be very inspirational for me as I was on my um, way to my failure in general. Like I feel like creative people and artists like we're such perfectionists. And me even growing up like in the church as a preacher's daughter, I was even judged um, in the church. I had to wear like blazers, vests, turtlenecks, because if I just wore a regular shirt like all the rest of the girls, I mean, I would feel the Holy Spirit and get chill bumps and apparently people would lust. And so I had to cover it all up. I had that to say- like, judged in the church and then after the church, it was like, be sexier. But then it was like, oh, but you always have to look that way if you do it once. You have to remain that body forever. That is what you should be. I'm not doing that recently, but like even when, so when I gave up alcohol, um, I wish I honestly had on video. I will say it's always if fun. you give me your phone number, I'll call you and tell you. One thing that I would love to ask you. By the way, everybody, when I was young, um, at the mall in Waco, Texas, I would be asked weekly for my autograph because everybody thought I was the girl from ET. Well, Cherry, you're not Kevin yet. <laughs> I thank you for sharing your life with us. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jessica Simpson, for your time. I was so attracted to our next guest. I even married him. Yeah, because that's what you do. Please welcome Tom Green. Hello, Drew, how are you? Oh, I'm so good. You have a new woman in your life. Yes, this is my, uh, my new puppy, uh, Charlie, but great to see you and congratulations on your incredible show. A little backstory for anyone um, is uh, we, we haven't seen or spoken to each other in, in far too long. Thanks for having me here, Drew. And I'm really, really couldn't be more excited about your new show. It's nice to see you every day on your incredible show. My mother and father, they say hello, by the way, and they're really happy that I'm here on the show, and we love watching you uh, do amazing things, and we're so excited about your new show. You've had a whole life, and I've had a whole life, and you know, when you say like 20 years, it's, sometimes it's the blink of an eye, 
And sometimes you're like, oh my God, we've lived so much in these last 20 years. I celebrate you and I always have and I always will. We really did not talk for about 15 years. You know, one of the things that means so much to me professionally also is because I admired your work so much. I thought we could grieve together over the dead Linda, over the dead woman, over the woman, over the woman. We could... Fuck off! You're a 